Hey guys, are you looking for a place that has tons of character with a modern fresh feel on the inside? Smack dab in the middle of Dr. Phillips, which is in the center of Orlando, Florida. If so, this may be the one for you guys. So like I mentioned, we're right in the middle of Dr. Phillips. If you don't know, it's in the middle of Orlando, Florida. This is a beautiful lot sitting on over half an acre. You do have the circle driveway here that was just redone on this home. It is built in the 97, but it was completely remodeled on the inside. Let's go ahead and take a look. And as we come inside the house, you're first greeted with this beautiful staircase that's curved with the iron railings that go all the way up to the top. Now, this home has a circular movement to it, so I'm gonna take you out really quick and then show you all the details I love. So, on your left hand side as you come into the home, you do have this beautiful sitting room with this fireplace with the stone that goes all the way up to the ceiling. There's tons of natural light in here and you could just feel like you don't even need the lights on at this point in time. We have them on to show, for example, but you really don't need them. So this fireplace room along with that tile, really nice detail that was added on. This home was completely renovated, I would say, within the past few months. Now, this floor that we're standing on is like that whitewashed wood style floor, and this kind of goes throughout the entire home. Let's go ahead and keep walking. Now, on the first floor, you do have a half bath. In total, this home has four and a half bathrooms and four bedrooms. With all the bathrooms have the nice detailed design in the tile work on the floor with the matte black finishes. Like I mentioned, this was recently redone. So you see all that nice, fresh, new, modern feeling. Now, of course, for me and my family, like most people say, the kitchen is the middle and it is the heart of this particular home. Looking at this island here, you have the stone throughout. You have the tile work and the brass cabinet knobs on the shaker cabinets. Now, the refrigerator is actually tucked away on the side over here with some additional cabinetry around it just to give you tons of space to store all the goodies that you may want alongside with your pantry in your kitchen area. Now, before we move on, let's head over this way. We're gonna go back to this, I would call this the like living room it's in a great spot. It overlooks the pool. By the way, I didn't mention that this house does have a pool and it sits on over 3,549 square foot of living. This room that we're standing in right now is huge. This has got to be 25 by 25 feet. And this built in cabinet is beautiful. You can feel this like a, so much character coming straight from it. I believe this may be original and they just freshened it up. It has the built in lighting across from it. It has the new stain and the white feeling throughout, same whitewash and the beautiful natural lighting coming in here too. Besides the natural lighting, you do have all these accent lights throughout the entire home, along with the LED built-in lights in the ceiling. Now I know you can see a glimpse of that pool, but we're gonna show you the pool at the end. We're gonna go out upstairs first. And before we go upstairs, we gotta show you the other bathroom that's downstairs. So you do have a half bath, and then you have a full pool bath on this side of the home. Here you have the nice little accented tile work all the way in the full pool bathroom with a stand up shower in the back and tile all the way up to the top off of the glass doorways. So again, as you can see, lots of additional details added with the penny tile floor here in the shower and the matte finishes on all the finishings again. Now across from that full bath, you do have a laundry room. It is not completely fitted at the moment, but you do fit the two the washer dryer like you would, but you actually have the full countertop here and additional cabinetry as well. Now it does have the built in water, but it all depends on how you want to use your laundry room. One of my favorite spots is the garage. It is a three car garage. They do have some heat, resistant foils on the doors itself just to kind of keep out that Florida heat. Let's take our way back inside and make our way to the staircase. The home is a pool home, so you do have three exits out to the pool. You had one in the garage, one off of this pool bath, and then one off of this kitchen. Now we're gonna round this up by going through the dining room, and this would complete our full circle around the downstairs. So it's the dining room, again, with tons of natural lighting here. You can't see these, Windows gotta be about five feet tall 
along with being about five feet wide. It's hard to see me, I know, because the lighting is behind me. But if you see here, this sits six people, a six seater table would fit in this room. And it looks really nice, especially with this accent light above the table itself. Now, we'll make our way up the stairs. But before I do, give me a second, let me run up there first, guys. All right, so we just made ourselves up the curved staircase. I'm gonna take you to the first guest room upstairs. So I know in the beginning of the video, I kind of previewed this balcony up top. This is a guest bedroom here. It has one of the smaller closets, but a great space with a nice view of the cul-de-sac for any guests that wanna come and visit you. You can see it right there. That's the cul-de-sac entering the community. It's a great location being in Dr. Phillips, but you're tucked away so that only people that come back here are the ones that live here. Now out of this first guest room, we're gonna go into the second guest room. Now downstairs you have that whitewashed wood style feel. Upstairs you have the thick carpeting. This is all recently done, recently put in. It's all fresh carpeting. This is one of the full closeted guest bedrooms. As you can see over here, double doors going to the closets and you can do the custom interior closet that you may want. Now, favorite up are normally the master bedroom. You look at the master or the primary. This is the primary bedroom. We're looking at a king size bed with tons of space. You have a end table on both sides of the room plus additional seating space. And you have these beautiful windows up here too. Love this bay window. You get to see over your backyard. Again, it's over half an acre here. And behind the home, we'll get out there in a little bit. It's actually a nice quaint little pond. So it's really quiet back here. And off of your bedroom windows, you can see a peak of the lake. Take a quick look, peek through the trees, the primary bedroom, boom, lake life. So to kind of wrap up this primary bedroom, you do have the dual closets. As you come over, you have the dual closets left and right of me. And then you have the dual vanities inside the bathrooms. No elbow butting here. You do have a beautiful, unique standalone tub. I do love this tub. I would certainly fit in it. And you have your enclosed shower space as well. All nicely updated. Home was built in 97, but they put lots of good touches in this home and they really thought about doing the upgrades right here. Come follow me. We're going to take our way to the final bedroom, which would be another great guest room because it has, no, excuse me, not final bedroom. It's another room than the final guest room that I would call it. So come on down the hallway upstairs. Remember, this is a four bedroom. This is the fourth bedroom. And here you do have another king size bed. So this is one of the larger guest bedrooms, king size bed, full closet space. In this particular room, they're showcasing even that it has enough space for an office desk or even additional bureau spacing in the room itself right here. So that's the four bedrooms. Now we're gonna take a look at this really nice, really nice bonus room. Before you get to the bonus room though, you do have another bathroom with dual vanities, some more tile work, more shiplap on the walls, really tons of detail throughout the home. So it's not like a boring, super clean, without any type of feeling home. You have tons of textures here, tons of design details, angles, and new tile and woodwork throughout. Now we're gonna make our way to the final bonus room. Now, growing up, I used to stay in a room like this when I came to visit my family in Florida. This room is huge. It can be used as a bonus room for your guests. It does have its own bathroom, but look at the space you have in here. More than a king size bed would fit in here. You can kind of set up a nice little seating area like they did here as well. Or this could be like a game room, bonus room, office. Multiple uses for this space here. It's one of the great things that I think Florida does well is having extra fun space inside the house. Here is the full bath that is inside this bonus room. So any guest that's staying in here really has their own space. Doesn't have to step outside to bother anyone. 
Now, that's it for upstairs, but really what makes this home stand out as well is this listed for $1.3 million, but it's sitting on over half an acre. It's actually 0.6 of an acre to be exact. And we're gonna go ahead and step outside to show you that pool area along with that huge acreage in the backyard. Give me one second, guys. Okay, so we're gonna take the middle door that takes you outside from behind the kitchen to take a look at this pool. Stepping outside, you see all this pool space. It's not just pool like you see in some homes. There's plenty of space here. If you wanna stretch out, relax, sunbathe like they have it set up. This home is currently furnished, but this does not come with the home. You do have the hot tub here and you do have the pool itself. It's a huge pool with tons of space going around the entire backyard. These windows in the back or something else I feel Florida was known for, like those curved windows, you actually have tons of space to then um, put in an outdoor kitchen. I'll show you that in a second right here. So you can add additional detail to your backyard right here. It's ready pre-plumbed. Pre-plumbed, outdoor kitchen, ready to go. Be a great little addition to the backyard. Now let's go ahead and take you guys to the rest of this acreage. Follow me. Okay, so we came out back. Now you can easily just walk from the front of the home back here or you can close it off if you'd like to. These current owners decided to keep it with the privacy bushes and then you have the fence that goes all the way back to the back of the house. So when you follow me here, we're gonna take you to the back corner. So you have that pool area, but then you have tons of space back here to make what you want of it. I'm gonna do a quick walk around for you guys and then take you over to that garage. But you come back here, tons of shade right now set up. And I did mention there was a pond in the back. I'm gonna show you guys the pond really quickly. These beautiful trees back here, they did take out some, but look at this landscaping they have. For those of you who really wanna come out here, have your own little garden, plenty of space to do that. Have your own little place to relax, breathe, pray, whatever it may be. You have tons of space back here to do so. Now I'm gonna cut back here. So you guys can see how far back this property line goes, it goes back to the far corner and then you have a nice shot here of the pond. So there's no rear neighbors, no one to worry about behind you making tons of noise. Just privacy on top of your 3,500 square foot home. Now coming back towards the front when we have tons of space for parking. Now I would say this lot is in the form of a pie Think like a pizza pie, New York pizza, that's what I think. Where in the front, it does have a nice little entry, but it just expands and opens up even more as it goes toward the back. As you see here, we're still walking this backyard just to get you to the garage area. Again, you can put additional pavers back here. They do have a nice little fire pit off to the side over there. Nice little fire pit area. You can make this an extension, put a little playground if you want or just leave it full of beautiful grass, landscape it the way you feel is best. I'm gonna take you over here to the fireplace. And then you can see this three car garage from the outside. So not only is it just a three car garage, but you actually have space for additional car to park here, two additional cars to park up front here, basically tons of space to fit all the cars you may want. That's one of the benefits of living in Dr. Phillips. You don't have to live on top of the neighbor. You have your own space, but in the middle of the city, you're minutes from any of the restaurants you may want to go to, as well as being really close to any shopping for groceries or anything you may need. You're less than 15 minutes away from it. As well as, of course, the parks. Universal, I believe, is less than 15 minutes from this house too. Disney is maybe 25 minutes from here too. Anyways, like I mentioned in the beginning, in the middle of everything, tons of character in this home. If you guys have any questions about this house, I wanna thank Acme Realty for allowing me a chance to go ahead and showcase this property, their listing of theirs. It is listed at 1.3 million. It is a four bedroom, four and a half bath, sitting on over half an acre. It's Mike Malave, guys, it was a pleasure. Call me at 407-680-1300. Till next time, peace.